Facebook. This is Jose Trujillo. And I'm ready to do another painting session with you guys. So let's get to it. This is going to be super fun. And let's get started with this painting session. How's it going, my friend Sean? Sean Sean, man. Amazing artist. Go check out Sean Sean. He's a cool artist. All right. Let's get started with this. So it's a very simple approach, right? It's going to be a still life with a teacup. I think that somebody was uh, lost their marbles over a teacup earlier. <laughs> but I'm going to add a little something else to this teacup. That sound you hear in the background is my wife taping one of my, some of my paintings. But it's going to be ready to be uh, shipped out. How you doing, Jennifer? Good to see you here. Good to see you, Bruce. Let me wave. There we go. Look at that. I love this. So we're still in quarantine here in my studio. My wife and my, my son are uh, enjoying their time here with me. And we got some uh, I'm gonna be painting a teacup <laughs> so that sound you hear right now it's the it's the uh, swamp cooler in my studio it gets hot in here so we, we we use the swamp coolers here in Arizona look at that So what I wanted to do, other than just uh, showing you a teacup here, this is going to be a shade, shadow, right? And then we can, I, I like to do both shadow and reflection. And I'll explain a little bit more on that. Hi Spence, good to see you here. Thank you for joining. Yesterday night, I had a uh, uh, we had a, a a webinar. We had a webinar last night on uh, how to sell your artwork on Instagram. It was really cool. We got a few artists to join us. Some artists couldn't join uh, since they applied a little too late. But we had about 13 artists join the little webinar. We wanted to keep it nice and small so that we could have, uh, we could answer people's questions and whatnot and people participating. It was really cool. It was a really nice, it was a really nice time. We kept it over an hour long, probably about an hour and a half. And some people had some really nice insights, which I, Can't see the entire piece. Yeah, no, the entire. It, it, it's uh, it's like writing. Making paintings is like writing. You gotta leave some stuff out so that the imagination looks for it. You gotta leave some of the stuff out. You can't you can't keep it all in there because otherwise it's not a painting. It's a photograph or something like that. You gotta leave some stuff out. Okay, so let's start with this little piece of, uh, not the pie, we're gonna start with the, with the teacups. I'm gonna get some yellow and red, okay? And a little bit of purple. And we're gonna make, we're gonna start painting some sort of liquid here, okay? I'm using a number 10 wide brush this is a this is a long bristol okay for loose painting you want to use long bristols guys and it's a flat brush okay it's a 
it's a flat bright brush with long bristles look at that and I got all the noise I got I got the I got the phone somewhere I got my son playing the Xbox in the other room I got the the air here Look at that. Look at the teacup, the, the teacup coming together. Very simple. Very, very, very simple. I'm gonna get a little bit of, a little bit of yellow and white, and put it right here. What's going on, good boy? I think my coffee's here, so he's going bananas. We ordered some coffee, so I don't have to leave the studio. So there's a teacup. Now let's do let's do the the little plate. Work ourselves down. That was fast. Yeah. I'm gonna get some magenta and purple. And we're gonna paint a little bit of that shadow. Okay, we're gonna put some shade right here, a little bit of this shadow right here. Imagining that it's going that way. We're also gonna use the same color to paint the shadow down here so that we don't lose a little bit of the aesthetic right there look at that how's it going Craig Jones good to see you here I can see you guys I can see you good to see you here and we're gonna make some right here look at that might as well right might as well put some shade right there already okay now let's continue with the, with the, with the plate now, even if you want to paint something that you're thinking is, is white, and when it comes to painting, you almost never want to use white, okay, pure white. You want to tint it with something else uh, so that you're able to, you're able to darken it as you need to or light it as you need to because you can't, in painting, any type of painting, whether it's uh, any type of, of of representational art uh, why it doesn't really exist except uh, one of my one of my early mentors said the only place you can find white pure white is in someone's in the tip of someone's nose you know meaning meaning the closest object right the closest object Super simple, look. Look at that. Thank you so much, I appreciate that, Craig. And now we're gonna go and do this pie, but what, what do we do this pie? Is it cherry pie? Is it is it lemon pie? What kind of what kind of pie do we have here? Uh, I'm assuming it's going to be lemon because I have this thing about lemon pie. It's not my favorite, but I love it. And I've been craving it. I don't know why. My my sweet tooth. Maybe I, I shouldn't be craving those things right now, but but man, lemon pie. My favorite one's carrot cake, by the way. <laughs> I'm a sucker for carrot cake. So I'm gonna put a little bit of green in that lemon pie just to give it that lemon idea of, of color, no? Look at that. Oh, I love that one's a cherry, oh man. <laughs> I moved too fast, right? I think I, I, I think I, I jumped too fast on that one. 
I love cherry pie too. Look at that. And again, we want to paint some shade, right? We're having some shade happening, some shadow. Mm, carrot cake is my favorite. Please, please type in the comments which is your favorite, your favorite pie, if you like pie. I know some people don't like pie, maybe they like cake. Lemon pie, that sounds good. Um, that's what I'm doing right here. I'm painting a little piece of lemon pie. Maybe put a little bit, I'm gonna put a little bit of um, whipped cream, a little bit of, of whipped cream on top. I'm gonna do the shadows first of that whipped cream, as you can see right here. Just kind of like the swirly. It's, it's, it's all just an idea, okay? This is, not, this is not realism. This is not necessarily representational completely. It's expressionism. It's expressionism with some impressionist brush strokes in there. But look, let's put some whipped cream on top of that. Something like that. Coconut cream pie. Mmm. But that sounds I never had that before. That sounds so good. I don't think I had it before. Next time, uh, uh next time uh when we get to go back to Cheesecake Factory, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to see if they have it. Try it. Disco, disco. Disco, disco. Oh, man. You know I can order a I know you're thinking about it already. Cheesecake. I'm gonna switch brushes now and I'm gonna get a wider brush because now I'm not necessarily painting small objects anymore. Right now I'm covering areas. And so I get a, I, I'm gonna get a wider brush. And I go into it like this. Cutting in there, look. I'm cutting in there. Lots of paint. You want that you want that brush loaded with paint. Cheesecake. Mm. I love cheesecake. Now that crust right there, we can we can do something a little bit about that crust because it's just it's just a black line from the initial drawing. I can leave it like that and, and call it a day, or I can also just put some, a little bit of crust down here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get an even wider brush and I'm gonna attack this areas right here with a wider brush, but uh, I don't want the painting to be so dull because we're talking about desserts here. And so I wanna make it a little bit, a little bit fun with some color, other than just the, the yellow right here. Maybe we can put, we can put some pink. I'm gonna get some red, a little bit of white. Not too much, but just, just enough. And we're gonna put it down here, look. And nothing, nothing has to be set in, in stone, guys, okay? Nothing has to be... Uh, in a way that you can't change it. You can always change it and play with it because this is expressionism. You're expressing the idea of what 
coffee or tea would look like on a table with, with a piece of pie. And so I don't want it all to be the same because in realism you keep it all the same. If the table is that color, then the table is that color. But, but in expressionism, you don't have to. It's your world. So I'm going to put some very heavy yellow right here. Because it's my world. That's the beauty of, of, of painting. First of all, the beauty of painting loose. And, and second, painting expressionism. Not just loose, but expressionist. In an expressionist way. Where I can choose the colors. Where I, 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 can, I can demand something else of the painting. Or nothing. It doesn't matter. It's, it's my world, right? And when you're painting something like this, it's your world. Look at that. And for some strange reason, that I still don't know why, I'm, and, and I don't think I'll ever find out why, there's something back here, and I don't know what it is. And then maybe there's something right here too, but I still don't, I don't know what it is exactly. Maybe the reflection of a window, maybe uh, a chair that just kind of showed up there in the corner and we can't really tell what it is. But it, it, it's a form of this abstraction that I mix in my paintings that you don't really have to explain away what it is. It's just there. It just kind of shows up and it's there. And it's okay that it's there. Just like in life. In life, everything's fragmented, really. Nothing is really... Nothing is uh, one specific way. Everything's so fragmented in life. Try remembering what you had for breakfast yesterday. You know, it's so fragmented. memory itself even visual things are fragmented especially visual things but, but definitely no I would say especially memory but definitely visual things are very fragmented thought forms all those things are fragmented and so I like to paint that and in in I like to include that notion in my paintings I play around and I say it's like, it's like playing Tetris like playing Tetris with, with paint. So simple like that. Yeah, yeah, we, we do that. We tend to do that as artists. Very simple things. It's just color, you know, we're just playing with it. Um, I, I often joke around and say I I just imagine that I'm just a I'm just a grown child playing with playing with crayons. It's just that my, my crayon is a little bit sophisticated. It's a paintbrush, right? <laughs> it's a little sophisticated, but it's the same thing. It's no different. I'm just a child who happens to play with some crayons and, and some people like it enough to exhibit it and even to purchase it. That's all it is. Look at that. I would I would hate to lose that. I've lost it before and I've regained it. I would hate to lose the joy of painting as a child. I'm just a little child. That is all.
lucky enough to do this every day. So there you have it, my friends. Very simple, beautiful approach. I love doing this. I, I can't get enough of this. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist, and I just wanted to show you and share with you here a little bit of my crazy, my crazy day. Painting some uh, lemon pie, a slice of lemon pie with some whipped cream. I think it's whipped cream. Who knows? <laughs> I would hope it's whipped cream. <laughs> And, uh, and a little teacup here. And I don't know what's back there. If, if anyone can figure out what's back there, uh, let me know, because I don't know what's back there. <laughs> Thank you so much, Spence. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Oh, some people wanted to know about the palette. They keep asking me that every day, so I'm going to start doing it every single day. This is Soft Mixing White. This is uh, Thalo Blue. This is Viridian, this is Cad Yellow, Cad Red, oh, and, and that's Walnut Oil. It's a little, little bucket right there, Walnut Oil. And, uh, not a bucket, but you know what I mean. Uh, that's Dioxin Purple, that's Magenta, and this is Mars Black. And, and that's the way the cookie crumbles here in my studio, guys. Take care, much love, and stay safe out there, please. Take care of yourselves.